Good morning, Sweetwater Pelicans, and happy with you Wednesday. I am so excited to hear such great things about all our students and all your transition to phase two. And today for our morning news, I have some special guests with me. We're going to start with our special area teachers. Come on, on, special area teachers. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right. Awesome. There's my coach, coach, coach Ken, Coach Cooney. Now we're just waiting on Coach Cox. I should be on. I can't <laughs> see you. Oh, man. Are you hiding? No, I'm, I'm, I see, I see <laughs> myself on my camera. There he is. There he is. All right. Well, good morning. Good to be back with play. Can you still see me? We yeah. see you. Okay. All right. All right. I just so want to do this to the, the whole meeting. meeting. <laughs> so I hear that phase two may be a little, a little, bit, a little bit different from our students. students. Can, Can you all share what the expectations for phase two is for special area? So it looks like everybody is supposed to be trying to stay active and keeping busy. Go outside and play and just record what you're doing um, and submit uh, some sort of a log. You can do it via the, the county log that we've uh, provided, or you can make up your own and submit it that you are staying active for at least 40 minutes per week. And you can uh, submit that on Canvas if you're uh, if you're on technology um, or if you're struggling with Canvas, you can um, take pictures of it and Upload, upload it and email it to us, us. Uh, however, however you like it. it. We, we'd, we'd love, love to hear, hear from you. Anything, Anything great you're hearing, Coach Cooney, from our students that they're doing? doing? I have received lots of really great comments and even videos of kids who have come up with their own activities, creating obstacle courses or um, some of the challenges we post that they've been doing a great job with and I, I've loved seeing the videos and reading the comments a little bit more but I do love it. You guys are doing an awesome job. Go ahead Coach Camp. I had a, I've had a lot of really cool things sent to me. I also live in a nice neighborhood and it was pretty cool. They did a sidewalk obstacle course and then they actually uh, then, then did a yard obstacle course, and then they did their there's a lake, and they took their kayaks, and they did a kayak race within the obstacle course. <laughs> so that's so, awesome. pretty imaginative. So it's been fun. So just like Coach Fox says, we just uh, anything you're doing, walking the dog, dog, going for walks with your parents, anything is acceptable. It's just a matter of making sure that you you upload it to one of one of us. I know I'm fourth and fifth, so all fourth and fifth uploads to Coach Camp. Right, second and third grade sends their things to me. And I love to hear from all you kindergartners and first graders. Awesome, I love the way you have that distributed out. It's good to hear such great things that our students are doing. Anything else before we go, PE? No, I don't think so. Well, thanks you all. Man, yeah, thank you for having us. All right, <laughs> thank you so much. Well, well next, I have coming on board our art, music, and STEM teachers. So we'll, we'll wait, wait for, for them, them to join, join in. They're, They're coming, coming on now. Hi. <laughs> All right, right. Let's, let's see who's, who's going to pop up, up first. first. Mrs. Mrs. Clark, Clark here. Hello. Hello. All right, Miss Clark. Clark. Oh, yay. There we see you. Great. So we're just waiting on Miss Toby and Miss Ritwagger to join us. Oh, I see myself, but I do not see why are you doing that. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Yay. Hi. Hello, Miss Ritwagger. All right, Miss Toby, Toby, we're still waiting, waiting on you. Come on board with us. I'm trying. It's not letting right. me. <laughs> there you are. Awesome. Here, here. Oh, yeah. 
Well, there you are. So I good to see you. all of you. I, I hope, hope that you're, you're doing, doing well. well. So why don't we go around and each of you can share. We'll start with Ms. Clark. Ms. Clark, why don't you share a little bit about the expectations for phase two? Sure. So uh, just, just like, like you guys heard earlier, earlier, I know on your Connect Ed and um, we saw on a couple other ways too, I think on the Facebook page, there's going to be one task posted to Canvas weekly. So I've had a lot of submissions already and keep it up. I'm getting a lot of pictures of your artwork and there's also a section where you can just describe your artwork if you'd rather not upload a picture or if you're having any technical difficulties. So it's all right there in Canvas um, and I'm loving seeing the artwork. So keep it coming. Awesome. awesome. And, and if they, they have any questions, questions, they can, they can also, also email, email you, can't they? they? Oh, oh yes, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Email no, anytime. Okay, okay super. super. Thank, Thank you. you. All, All right, Miss Ripwagger, why don't you share with us? Um, just, just like, like art, we're, we're doing, doing one weekly assignment, assignment now, um, and, and I've been receiving some really great videos, and of course, if you're not comfortable videoing or if you have uh, technical difficulties, you can just type in your response as well, and I have a couple questions on there. Um, I've gotten a lot of videos from students who um, are doing, this week we're doing sight reading in each grade level. So, so each grade level is a little more challenging, more challenging and, and I've got, got students who are doing some great body percussion. percussion. And then and I've also had a lot of students who started almost a family band. band. It's, it's been pretty, pretty cool. cool. Like dad, dad knows guitar, guitar so, so now they've, they've taught, taught their, their children, children to play guitar, guitar and now they're all playing together. And I've really enjoyed some of the stuff that has created such a, made such a, this like such a positive experience. So keep up the good work. Like just like Ms. Clark said, if you've got any questions, you can always email me too. Awesome. awesome. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Ritwager. All right, Ms. Toby, Toby Willett is going on in the STEM world. I have received some amazing things from our students. We've been doing a lot of makerspace creations. Um, I have kids that are creating board games and playing them with their family. They're doing airplane testing and the whole family is um, is joining in. I actually had a student in my neighborhood walking around outside and I could see her testing out her airplane. Um, so, um, so I thought, I thought that, that was pretty cool, cool that she was really into it. it. Um, we've, we've done chain reactions, some coding, uh, unplugged coding for my first graders. So I've seen some pretty amazing things. Same, same thing, thing, if you're having any technical issues, you're more than welcome to take a picture of it and send it through email um, if for some reason you're having issues with Canvas. And then I want to remind all my second and third graders that if they have not already received their code.org login info from their teacher, please feel free to email me and I will make sure that you get that this week. Awesome. And for any of our boys and girls that don't know how to email your teacher, you can go into the district website and you can log on to staff and you can find your teacher listed there so that you can email from the district website. All right. Well, thank you so much. Anything we've missed that any one of you feel that we should share? Well, I appreciate you coming on to the morning news this morning. Thank you so much. And last but not least, we have Ms. Grunwald here. Uh, and, and she's, she's going to bring, bring some, some information, information from, from, well, probably the media center or the world of reading. Let's see, Let's see what she's got for us. Ms. Grubel, are you there? I sure am here. Can you see me? Not yet. Oh, oh there you are. Here I am. I'm coming. You know, I'm sure glad this week's lifelong guideline is sense of humor because through all this, you have to have a sense of humor and just be patient, don't you? You, you sure, sure do, and thank, thank you for reminding us of our lifelong guidelines. guidelines. I, I love sense, sense of humor. It's, it's really great, great through all this time, time especially with family. family. Last, Last night we were at dinner, dinner and, and we were sharing jokes, jokes with each other. So, so it's, it's a good, good way, way to remember your sense, sense of humor. humor. I love that. I think that's a great idea. Well, I was going to tell you a little bit about what we have going on in the media center. Um, uh oh, I just brought something up on my screen. Hold on. So I have a ton of students who are still reading. Can you believe it? They, they know that reading counts is open and that it is ready for them to take their tests. Isn't that great? That is great. I think, I think our, our points, points are growing, growing even with not, not being at the school brick and mortar. They absolutely so are. We're still a school only online. That's right. And you know what? I know that it's tough, but everybody has been doing such a great job. I've gotten to see kids in their classrooms through Teams. 
It's been so exciting. So I wanted to let them know, um, just like Miss Toby said, if any, I've been doing a lot of tech support. I haven't been reading as much as I really wanted to. So, but if anybody needs my help, you can always call me through Teams or send me an email, just like Miss Toby said. So I miss everybody. So if you guys want to send me pictures of you reading or anything like that, send those to me as well. I would love to see them. Super. Super. Yeah, and, and, go and ahead. if they want to, you have their books. books. I know there's a question about library books. books. If they have they library books at home right now, now are, are they, they supposed to just hold on to them for a little while longer? longer? Well, we would like them to hold on to them, keeping them safe, of course, um, because, you know, we don't want too many things coming back and forth to the school. So as long as they keep them safe, I think they can have and keep and enjoy them for a little bit longer. And we'll let them know when it's time to come back. Absolutely. 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 Okay. Anything else, Ms. Grinnell? Oh, yeah, we, well, you know, there's always so much to talk about. So I love that you already asked about reading counts. I have the coveted reading counts book here. So I'm still tracking points. And I want everybody to know, we still have dog tags. And I'm going to fulfill all of the parties that we said we would. We are going to have the ice cream party. We're going to have the limo party. We are going to vote on our SSYRA books. I just... It's just not going to be very soon. So keep all of that in mind. You're going to get your dog tags, all of those. And I want everybody to know they should join me for my read alouds at nighttime on Facebook. Come and see me. I'll give you a sneak peek of our author we're reading this week is Ryan Higgins. And tonight, Wednesday night, I'm going to read this story. So I hope to see you there. For What's that? Aloud. We don't eat our classmates. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. We don't eat our classmates. We've talked about it a couple times. This is one of our SSYRA juniors. And I think this is a great motto to live by because if you eat your classmates, you won't have anybody to play with. Well, actually, since, since we're, we're virtual, virtual, they can't, can't eat their, their classmates, classmates anyway. anyway. Whew! <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right. Anything, Anything else, Ms. Grunewald? I think that is it. I hope to start a little poetry group next week because this is poetry month. I know everything's been challenging. So Miss O would love to see everybody too. So we'll have more information coming out about that. I love, I love it. it. And all, all the things you mentioned before, before, as soon as we, we know what we can do about having, having all those parties and, and you know, know doing, doing the, the voting, voting, we are, we're going to share all that information just as soon as we have time that we, uh, a date or time that we're allowed to start to pulling students in and doing things at the school. Absolutely. And our reading counts party. We might have to have that the first week of school. We will. I love it. We're going to start the new year with a party. This is great. Yes. Yes. I love it too. All right, everybody. I thank you so much for coming on the morning news with me. This made the morning so much more special. And I just want to tell you boys and girls, keep up your good work. Thank you so much for everything you're doing, for your persistence, for your dedication, and most of all, for your hard work. Everyone have a great day. Goodbye. Bye.